to destroy the works of the evil one and the kingdom of darkness with light and to rescue men from the law of sin. This is the gospel of Christ. Our first question is asked in this way. Is it scriptural for a woman to pray in worship when men are present? My friend, that's a very good question. And from the outset, we want people to realize that the woman has a valuable role in the church. God has given her specific duties. God has given her specific things that she excels at that men can't do as well. But friend, let's also realize that there are boundaries and guidelines and limitations as it relates to public prayer where both men and women are present. I remember recently someone telling me that they'd gone to a denominational uh, service and during the service uh, while there were men present a woman just got up and began to pray and it made them feel uncomfortable and they didn't know exactly how the scripture felt about that. Well how does God define this in prayer? Is it scriptural when men and women are gathered together for a woman to stand up and lead prayer? Friend the answer is no from the scripture. Now listen to the Bible in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 11 and 12. The Apostle Paul says these words, Let a woman learn in silence with all submission, and I do not permit a woman to teach or have authority over a man, but to be in silence. In the worship assembly, when we are gathered together, a woman is to be silent, she is to learn in submission, and she is not to take a leadership role in which she has authority over a man. Being in the place where one stands up and leads prayer publicly would be a leadership and authority position, and thus women are not authorized to do that in the presence of men. In fact, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 8, the Apostle Paul will say, I desire therefore that men, and that's the Greek word for males, I desire therefore that men pray everywhere. God has designated that as part of the leadership responsibility given to men in the church. That doesn't mean a woman can't say a prayer, a good prayer even, in front of other women. Doesn't mean that she doesn't know how to pray or isn't important, but this is the, the guideline and the setting which God has put forth for prayer in the public worship assembly. Now, another passage that also addresses the role of women in the worship assembly is found in 1 Corinthians 14, verse number 34. The Apostle Paul says, Let your women keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak, but they are to be submissive as the law also says. And so what about a, a woman preaching or a woman standing up to lead prayer in a mixed assembly or something like unto that? Well, friend, the Bible says they're to remain silent. The Bible says they're to be submissive. The Bible says that men are to pray everywhere. And again, we're not saying women aren't important. Thank God for every faithful a woman in the Lord's church who fulfills her role, who does her part to help the church, who is faithful in serving God in every way that is outlined. But friend, we want to be clear that the Bible does not say that women should take a leadership role in preaching or praying and things like that that God has specifically addressed for men. And so this will be one of the identifying characteristics of the role of men versus the role of women and are we going to go by what the Bible says and do these things. Now I know as well as you do that there are a lot of denominational organizations where women will stand up and preach or women will stand up and lead a mixed assembly in prayer. But friend, if we're going to go by what the Bible says, if we're going to take God at His word and follow His teaching, we need to realize there is a designated and specific role given to men and there is a designated and specific role given to women and each have unique responsibilities inside the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so it is not acceptable, according to the scripture, 
for a woman to preach or a woman to lead prayer in a mixed assembly, that would be a clear violation of these passages. Visit thegospelofchrist.com for a host of Bible study materials, including audio and video of our lessons. Request your copy of today's lesson by completing a media request form online. On-demand downloads are also available at thegospelofchrist.com. We would love to hear from you. Email us at mail at thegospelofchrist.com or call 844-6-GOSPEL. You may also write us at the address on your screen. Search your app store for The Gospel of Christ to access our mobile app on your smartphone. This is the Gospel of Christ.